Okay, in this session, we're going to look at how we can get device information. Okay, so it might not seem relevant, like, why do we need device information? So there are some different cases and scenarios that we might need device information. In this case, let's say we want to, like, get feedback from a user, like there's a problem with the application, right? So in Flutter, we have overflow issues, is it? Sometimes you need to know like which device is the problem coming from right so that you can make necessary adjustments according to to the information that you get because even if someone reports like this a problem with the application without knowing the device with which the user is using it might become a little bit difficult device info package comes handy so the first thing that we need to do we need to go to our pubspec yaml and we need to add a dependency and in addition we're going to use get to make it happen so we're going to look at two scenarios whereby we use get and the other one we are not going to use get to get the device info okay so let's jump into it and get started so first we need to go ahead and just in our lib folder create a new folder we are going to call it controllers in controllers we are going to go ahead and create a new file in this case mine i named device info services so first we create a class that's going to extend getx controller right at the bottom we are going to instantiate our device info plugin after instantiating our plugin we are just going to create a string this is the string where we are going to store the device type but we're not going to use it now we're going to use it later right at the bottom we have an rx string where we're going to store all the information related to a particular device because we just want to display the device information on the screen and down at the bottom whenever we are going to run this controller we're going to initialize this function okay so this function is the function that we have right at the bottom let's take a look at our function so in our function is going to be an asynchronous function asynchronous function we are going to have a try catch block why are we having a try catch block we might run into an error trying to get the device info so we might need to know what kind of error are we running into so that we can fix the error right so that's why we do have a try catch block and inside we have two conditions because we have two de device type when it comes to mobile applications we've got androids and we've got ios right so in our first condition we need to check if the device is an android device if it is an android device then we are going to use this android device info then we give this a name right and this is going to wait for the device info now okay this device info is the device info that we instantiated on top right and from that, we are going to get Android info since our, our platform is, is Android. And once we get the data, then we can just go ahead and set the data into the Rx string that we have right on top. Same goes for, for iOS. So if our platform is iOS, then we're going to, using this variable that we instantiated on top, and then we're going to get iOS info. After that, we're going to set device info to to the rx string do right now we need to go ahead and run a test so the test is going to be quite simple whenever we are going to call this controller it's going to automatically run our function in the init state so let's go back to our main dot dart you know main dot dart we need to have an instance of our controller okay so whenever this is run, isn't every time that we're going to run this, then we're going to initialize our, our function. And then in order for us to get the data from our controller, then we're going to use this controller, right? To access the variables that we have in our, in our controller. So let's go down a little and right at the bottom, we have an OBX. So our OBX is going to return a text. Inside of this text, we're going to get this observable value, which is controller dot device information. We're using OBX because our string, our device information string is an observable value, right? So each and every change that happens to this particular device information is going to be read automatically in our UI using this OBX, okay? So it seems like we do have an error, we can get rid of the error by just removing this console over here and let's save again. So, and on init, 
we ran the, the function and we have our, our information here. That's all that you need to do to get all the device information. Now it's up to you to choose which kind of data do you want to use from now. Okay. So let's take, for example, the use case that I, I said before, let's say you want to use it to send the device, no, the device type alongside with the feedback. Let's have another text widget and a comma here, right at the bottom. We just paste that. And here we just need to access our controller and in our controller, we're going to get the device type. This is the device that we're on iPhone. So let's look at another scenario whereby we won't be using GetX. If we are not using GetX, how can we go about it? Without GetX, we want to get the device information, right? So we are going to make some minor, minor adjustments. So first we need to change this material app to, we need to change from get material app to material app. That's the first thing. Next, we need to go ahead to my homepage. Okay. Cause we are displaying our information in my homepage, right? So in my homepage, we need to instantiate our device info plugin. Okay. And give, give it this name device info. This is the variable that we're going to use to, to get the information related to, to the device. And we need to create two strings. The first one is going to be the device information. And the next one is going to be device type. Okay. And we need to add init state. So on init state, whenever we open this page, we are going to run this function. This function is similar to the function that we, we had in get X, but slightly different in get X. If we open the, the controller, this was our function, right? The difference is here, right? How we are setting our, our values to, to device type into device information string, right? That's the only difference. So let's go ahead and close that. So looking at this function, the setup is the same. First, it has to be asynchronous since we are waiting for the data from our plugin, right? And we have our try catch block in our try. That's where we are running all the conditions. If we do have a, ca a problem, an error, we're going to that error and then we're just going to print it. So getting into it in our first condition, we need to check if the platform is Android, if the platform is Android, then we're going to use Android device information class. And this is going to wait for the, for our plugin device information. And we are going to get the Android information. Once we get the data, then we need to set state, right? So this is the difference. We need to set the data that we get to the variables that we created. This device information is this nullable string that we have on top. And for our device type, we have to access the data that we got from our device info plugin, and we have to get the device. Okay. And we set that device inside of our device type. Now, if the platform is iOS, we are going to do the same. We're going to get this iOS device class and it's going to await for device info. And we're going to get information related to an iOS device. After we get the information, now we need to set our data to our variables that we have on top. Okay. So first we have device info, device info is going to wait for all the data that we get from an iOS device and we're just going to convert it to string. And for our device info, we're going to get the model of the iOS device that we are on. Okay. So this is the difference after that. If we save, let's just go ahead and restart that. That's the same information that we have here, but here I made a minor mistake. So it's supposed to be USTS name machine. Okay. Not the device. Okay. So when we are getting the device type, we're not getting the model. Let's see. Okay. It's going to be like that. Okay. So let's just go ahead and restart our application. So now we have our, our device machine type. Okay. So this is what we do if we are not using GetX to, to get device information.